Do you want to hear a story? Are you sure? Are you positive? Okay. I'll tell you a story. Now, once upon a time, and a very good time it was, not in your time, indeed not in my time, but in times long ago, when court bottles held half a gallon, houses were papered with pancakes, and pigs run about with forks stuck in their backs, seeing a one to have a slice of ham. Hi, I'm Andy Jones, and I adapted uh, the story uh, of the Queen of Paradise's Garden, uh, based on the uh, telling of the tale by Albert Heber Keeping uh, from uh, Grand Bank, Newfoundland. And the illustrations in the book, of course, uh, are by Darka Erdeli. And they're absolutely beautiful, and Darka, of course, uh, is from Slovenia, and, uh, and there's definitely a, um, a Eastern European sort of uh, uh, motif that runs through these. It feels different to me, uh, and it's very beautiful. And, and also, there, there is a kind of subplot in the book, if you notice that the birds, the birds have their own story. And it, it, it's never mentioned, but they actually, they're, they're going through a sort of parallel series of events, uh, the parallel to Jack and, and uh, his two brothers, right? But what do you know? One day, the old lady, she was out working in the fields, and she felt a bit funny. And then, what do you know? Lo and behold, without any warning, uh, she gave birth again to another baby boy. And she called him Jack. And Jack, he was two days late for everything for the rest of his life. He seems to be the, the hero of lots and lots of the stories. He's the guy who goes on the journey. Uh, and it's, it's obviously the same, uh, you know, kind of generic character as Jack and the Beanstalk. And he's usually, he's the, the, uh, uh, the least ambitious of the, of the children. Uh, and sometimes he's not all that bright, and he's like, kind of, tends up, he often ends up sort of laying around the coal box and, and not doing anything, but then he eventually ends up being the, the hero of the story. The old blind Pew said to them, he said, Well, it's too bad you couldn't find the magic fruit that makes the old young again, that only grows in the queen of paradise's garden, which is three miles this side of the end of the world. Baskets, baskets, baskets for sale. And the boys looked at each other and said, three miles this side of the end of the world, we better get going. These stories were not actually told to children originally. They were adults and kids often hung around and listened, but really they were for adults. But the way we've done it, like we, we've adapted it, so I think it's for all ages, but the interesting thing about this book is that I think like kids who are three seem to really, really enjoy, like you know, three and up, to, even that age can get it. Um, I know, I just read the book in, uh, uh, in Halifax at a bookstore there, and there's a little girl who was three years old, and she was like totally fascinated. And when I, when I finished, she reached behind her uh, on the shelf and she took another book down. And she had to be said, now read this book. <laughs> and then the three boys headed off in three different directions in search for the magic fruit that would make the old young again that only grew in the Queen of Paradise's garden, which is three miles this side of the end of the world.